Have you ever wanted to drop an iron golem directly on top of a zombie spawner? Point. <laughs> I could watch that all day. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back! Welcome back! <laughs> I am glad to be here! So, uh, yeah, we were digging a big hole trying to figure out what we wanted to do with that spot, and lo and behold, there was a zombie spawner sitting there making all kinds of ruckus. Of course, I didn't hear it right away because I had my hostile mobs turned down, but it's there, and now I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with it. Uh, buddy, we're, we're trying to have a conversation here. Yeah. Photobomb. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I really don't have a use for a zombie spawner. I know everybody gets excited about the spawners and making XP farms out of them, but I found that you can make just as much XP and get the added benefit of emeralds if you just sell sticks. Now, if it was a skeletal spawner, that would be something entirely different because you can never have too much bone meal. But I really don't have a use for rotten flesh. That being said, it sure would be a shame to tear this thing apart. So I suppose I'll have to do something with it. But that really wasn't on my list of things to do this episode. <laughs> ah, well, I guess you just got to go with the flow sometimes, right? Well, if we're going to make an XP farm, that means it has to be dark in order for the zombies to come out. So I want some tinted glass, which means I have to find some amethyst. Which means I have to go mining. Uh, all right, so here we go. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh, it is right there. Oh, I just want to build something. In the words of the late Jim Varney, this here is a good place not to be. Three minutes into this video, I'm already a half hour behind. Treasure the process. How about we go this way? Oh, okay. <laughs> that worked out nicely. <laughs> I take it back. Yeah, tweet, tweet. Okay, well, we found our way over here, and if you look around, you'll notice that it's completely empty. <laughs> Nothing. Ah! This is what you call going sideways. Progress report. So we did find a whole bunch of amethyst. You got two, not one, but two stacks of tinted glass. We're ready to go on that front. I got a hole dug out. Well, Frank's keeping watch there, and yeah, let's see. It goes around this way. And goes down here. Completely in. So now I kind of have to think a little bit as to how I want this upstairs to go. Arguably, the best thing to do at this point, I think, would be to turn this into a storage room. I don't know that putting villager workstations on top of a zombie spawner is the best thing to do. Uh, I probably have iron golems everywhere, but I think I'm going to turn this into a storage room and just call it good. You can never have too much storage space, am I right? Well, we did a little grinding, all without a beacon. Yay! And I think we have the dimensions that I'm looking for. Now we just got to figure out a color palette and... Have at it. Not sure what I'm talking about? Here, let me show you. Dun, 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 dun. We have 60 double chests, which is plenty of storage to get started with. Uh, not a single one of them are labeled, so yeah, that's lots of space for me to get confused. We have, oh, I gotta show it to you over here. Of course, we have our obligatory uh, furnace area, and we have 
zombie spawner, which is doing nothing right now. Oh, the gold helmet over there, though. One of my favorite ways to light up an area is this behind the leaves glowstone business. So you got glowstone on the ground, then I've got some glass on top of it. I'll show you here in a second. Let's take this out. Then put it back. See how much darker that is than over here? It adds just a little bit of lighting, and I really, really like that effect. And then we go downstairs. Turn the mobs way down. Hey, fellas. And we go over here. And you can see there are a lot of mobs. On. And a chicken, apparently. I definitely need to do some detailing yet. I want to put a few more banners up, maybe some texture in and whatnot. And this roof, I think it'd be okay if I put some glowberries in. Um, but of course, I don't have any glowberries. Like I said, it's like 90% done and 90% to go, which is like a lot of my builds, actually. <laughs> but we need some glow berries, which means it's raining. Ugh. Time for a field trip. Glow berries acquired, and this is what we ended up with. What do you think, guys? Is it is it too busy? Is it okay? Hmm. I'm on the fence. I'm a big fan of less is more, but sometimes less just isn't enough. So did I get it right? Is it too gaudy? Does it take away? If I just kind of walk through here, it does give me a little bit of a distraction. Does it draw my eyes up? Hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'll tell you what I think. I think all this thinking's hurting my head. You know what I need? I need a night out with the boys. Listen up, ladies. Our objective is to clear this area of all hostile mobs. If it moves and does not have a heartbeat, you are to make it your new favorite chew toy. Do I make myself clear? I can't hear you. Well, all right then. Let's get to it. Here comes somebody. Let's try this way. I'm going to laser target, fellas. Get him. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> get him! Get him, get him, get him! <laughs> oh, he's hurting him. Oh, that's a creeper. Look out. Alright. How bad are you guys hurt? Anybody hurt? Give you a little bit. 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 Okay, no more for him. He's all lovey dubby. But this guy. Yeah, let's go get this guy. Go get them, fellas! <laughs> I'll take those arrows. Yoink. And the bow and mail. Oh, Mr. Skeleton! Oh, you guys are everywhere up here. Going. <laughs> yeah. Got an arrow. How about this guy? You want to get this? Guy? Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! <laughs> oh, this is what. Oh, get away from me, creeper. I don't like you. Oh, here's another one. Here's another one. Arr, get him! <laughs> Just doesn't get old. Oh, here's another guy. Hello. Oh, gotta get away from that guy. Oh, come on! Blew up half my dogs. 
Yep, they shouldn't have done that. They're a little on the protective side. Kill the chicken, anyhow. All right, who's hurt? Anybody hurt? But oh, you, you hurt? I gave you some juice. Yeah, I hear you hurt. There you is. That you? Come here, Odin. You need some more. There you go. Get your tail up where it's supposed to be. Uh, you're hurt pretty bad, Maverick. There we go. Up, oh, zombie, zombie, zombie. Get him! <laughs> That's the best thing they've ever added to Minecraft right there. Ah, where's my next victim? Woo! Skeleton. We like skeletons. They have bone meal. Come on, fellas. Let's go get them. Hello. Run. <laughs> you ain't going to get away. They're really fast. <laughs> Run, dude! This is the longest I've ever seen one last. <laughs> Get him! Get him! <laughs> oh, there we go. Good job, fellas. Any more? Oh, there's a zombie. Let's go get him. Here we go. Oh, he does a little bit better because he had armor, but... Any more skeletons? There's one up here. Let's go get this guy. <laughs> All right, let's sit down. How many do we got? We still got everybody? Look, even Bob survived. <laughs> And now to promote my other favorite addiction, A Righteous Fury. Available on Amazon and EPUB. Links below. Well, that was exactly what I needed. Still don't know what I'm going to do, but <laughs> at least I'm having fun. I think I'm going to sit back and let this just stay a little bit. We'll go outside. We'll get the front side presentable and just kind of let it set and see how it goes. All in all, though, I think it's pretty good. Like I said, we've got 60 different double chests for storage. Uh, we've got a spawner, XP farm. None of this was actually planned, but it worked out. So let's get the front presentable and we'll see what goes. Okay, let's take a tour down our little pathway here around the corner. Here we go. We got some trees, we got some fences, we got a nice little area, a little waterfall and azalea bush and some roses not too bad i especially like how this looks from the bridge that that looks really sharp and then of course we got our progress rock can't forget that one all in all i'm pretty pleased for what got accomplished i mean it was completely spontaneous and totally unplanned but <laughs> sometimes you just gotta roll with it that doesn't mean we won't tweak things in the future or put a whole bunch of uh, item frames on there so I can actually tell what's in each of those 60 different double chests. But, you know, considering the whole thing was completely from the hip, not too bad of an episode. Ah, you again. Pushing me around now. What a bully. Come on, dude. Oh, seriously? <laughs> yep. This has been... Get out of the way, you big iron lugget. He ain't moving, is he? Please? Yeah, yeah, get out of the way. Guess that's payback for earlier. So if you were mildly amused by this uh, visual endeavor, please consider giving me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, do all the above. I really, really appreciate it. Until the next one, thanks for watching, everybody.